Hello everybody, today we're talking about building shooting charts with a big datable data sets. And the first thing to do is to download the data set. Just go to the big datable website. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, make sure you download the play by play uh, data set. So just go right here, let's do a single season for now. Um, and choose an option. Uh, I chose 2018, 2019, you can choose whatever you want. And the data set is 30 bucks each. And if you don't want to pay 30 bucks, just use a simple log for now. Okay, now when you download the data set, uh, the next thing to do is open um, a studio project and put the data set inside the same folder of your project. Okay. So let's start. Um, let's go right here. Let's import the data set. Okay. Uh, it has a weird name. Um, let's, let's give it an easier name. Let's call it um, Shot Logs. Okay. There we go. And go ahead and import the data set. Where it's going to take 10 15 seconds. Okay, now you should see something like this with your data set on the right and just open a new R script. Just go right here, go R script, give it a name, um, save it, sorry, and give it the name you want. I already did this, so I don't need to do this, but you do. Okay, and once you have your script, the first thing we need to do is call our libraries. And if you don't have the packages installed, you need to install the packages too. Just go ahead. Uh, I'll link the, the code in the description if you want to copy and paste. But just install the two packages, tidyverse and xbin, and call the two libraries. So I will install the packages, you just need to call the libraries. There we go. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to clean the data. Uh, as you can see, there are many columns that we do not need. So um, with this code, we just we just select the team, the player, the result, if the show was made or not, and the X and Y coordinates. So just go ahead and run this code. There we go. And you can see that the data set went from 44 variables to five. Okay. The next thing we need to do is kind of tricky because the um, the coordinates in the data set in the big data ball data set are full co coordinates okay and we need to convert them into hard code so this is just a transformation again just copy and paste the um, the code in the description and now we have just half code coordinates now we need to draw the code okay um this process is long and I actually found the, um, this guide in the Ewan Gallic uh, website uh, where he describes and teach you how to do this. I made some fixes to fit what we need to do. So just copy and paste the code I put in the guide. Uh, make sure you go step by step, you just don't select the whole code and run it, but just go function by function. So, one function at a time. The first one was to draw a circle. This is for symmetry. This is a big function, which are for new coordinates. Okay. Um, you can select all these and run it. Go ahead. Okay. You can again select all this big group of code, just drawing the single lines in the basketball code. Okay, make sure you select all of it. Go ahead. Okay, now we can create the graph using the ggplot library. Um, okay, so P is going to be a full code. Code, sorry. <laughs> um, so if you want to show P, you just have the, the full code, but we want half P because we just 
converted the um, coordinates so let's do half p and we have a half p okay now we have a beautiful curve right here and we need to put the shots okay and we actually have the coordinates right here the x goes from 0 to 50 feet okay and the y on 0 to 47 feet so let's let's plot the 2018 2019 season the whole season okay and we use this uh, germ hex function okay um, so a couple of things here well we want the x on the x-axis the y and the y-axis we need this function divides the code in bins and count how many shots are taken inside that bin okay so let me show you because it's easier to <laughs> to explain uh, when you see it it's gonna take a it's gonna take a while uh, maybe 30 seconds 45 seconds no it did not so this is the plot of the whole season so how to read this uh, inside the paint and outside the three-point shot inside each black bin they were taken more than 100 shots okay see this area right here during the entire season inside those bins between 5 and 25 shots okay so this is the full season but how do we do a team it's pretty easy uh, I built a function so you can select which team whatever team you want and it's almost the same as before but when you select the data right here here we have just shot logs the whole season the, every team and every player in this data section just do subset and do team equals team name inside the function it's gonna go this way so if I run the function and the system the system has it now I can search whatever team right here I just did Houston because I'm a Houston fan but uh, if you go Houston, you will only have the Houston total shots taken during the season. Okay. Um, one more thing I forgot to say: the alpha coefficient is the transparency of the dots of the um, hexagons. Sorry, uh, I put a 75 so you can you can still see the code behind the dots. Uh, the uh, the bin width is how big. How, f how many full square are the bins, okay? If you, I tried every option, trust me, and I think that one foot uh, square is the best option. Okay, so we just did Houston. If we want, we can just go, we can just copy and paste this code, okay? And we can select Boston. And if you run this, it's gonna show um, all Boston shots and see a lot of mid ranges with Kylie, I think, in 2018 2019. Okay, so the last step uh, we're gonna do in this video is the player chart. Okay, same thing as before, but instead of team, we have player name. Okay, it's the same function, we just changed the player name. So if we run this function, and again, you, you can select whatever player you want. We have James Harden right here, and we see James, Sar James Harden in short chart. Okay, be aware that some names are hard to spell. So just if you want, just check check uh, the name this list. So if you wanna, uh, for example, LeBron James, if I select LeBron James, you see the B is capitalized. So uh, when I when I wanna plot LeBron James. Uh, I gotta be aware that let's see it's actually the first time I do LeBron James make sure to close the um, the comma here and boom LeBron James shot. see he didn't play a lot so he just have a lot of shots and last thing and then we're done uh, we can change the the bean size okay uh, not the bin width but the bin size uh, for players I chose the categories between 0, 1, 2, 5 and 10 okay but we can change this just change these numbers right here okay and I just want to show you the ultimate goal is to have an application like this 
If you download 10 seasons, okay, uh, you can have the chats of 10 seasons. And this is something I made for school, uh, where you can just choose a season, you can choose a team if you want, or you can just select a player, you can just search a player right here. Let's do LeBron James again, 2010, 2011. Right here, and this is something we're gonna cover later in other videos. But yeah, this is it.